The Novi Avion was an ambitious Yugoslav fourth generation multi drone combat aircraft program conceived in the 1980s. Designed by the Yugoslav aircraft manufacturer Soko, with substantial technical assistance from France, the Novi Avion bore a striking resemblance to the French Dazor Rafale. Unfortunately, the aircraft never entered production due to the breakup of Yugoslavia in the early 1990s, which ended the project before it could take flight. The Novi Avion project was Yugoslavia's response to the need for an indigenous fighter jet to replace its aging fleet of Soviet supply MiG-21 Vizbat interceptors and domestic so-called J-21 just trap light attack aircraft. Yugoslavia's military leadership recognized the importance of modernizing its efforts with a domestically produced fighter capable of performing various roles from air superiority and interception to ground attack and anti-ship operations. This could have significantly reduced the country's dependence on foreign suppliers. In the 1980s, Yugoslavia sought to become more self-reliant in defense technology. The program's goal was to produce an aircraft with advanced avionics, robust Mantaron capabilities, and a slick, agile design, positioning it alongside contemporary fighters like the Dacia Rafale and the American F-16 Fighting Falcon. The Novi Avion's design incorporated many cutting-edge features for the time. The aircraft's general configuration, including a cropped delt wing and forward canards, resembled the Dazzo Rafale, though it was smaller and equipped with a single engine. The airframe was built primarily from composite materials to reduce weight and increase durability, reflecting the trend toward using lighter materials in modern fighter jets. The cockpit was advanced to its era, featuring an all-glass display with multifunction screens, digital flight controls, and even voice recognition technology for cockpit commands. The avionic suit included a digital flight control system, fire control radar, and an integrated navigation and attack system. These systems were designed to give the Novi Avion the ability to engage targets in a variety of environments, both in air-to-air -air combat and air-to-ground missions. Yugoslavia also planned to equip the Novi Avion with a comprehensive electronic warfare suit, including electronic countermeasure system. Although the aircraft was not intended to be a full-style fighter, efforts were made to reduce its radar cross-section to enhance its survivability on the Martin battlefield. One of the most crucial elements of the Novi Aviation's development was its power plant. The French Snegma M88 turbofan engine, later used in the Dacia Rafale, was one of the two most likely candidates for the Novi Avion. Alternatively, the American General Electric F404 engine was also considered. Both engines were capable of delivering the thrust required to achieve the desired performance, with a top speed project at Mark 1.88 and a range of over 2,300 miles. The aircraft's service ceiling was expected to reach 55,775 feet, and it would have featured a high rate of climb, ideal for rapid interception missions. The aircraft's armament was designed to be equally versatile. It could have been equipped with 11 hard points, including two wingtip positions, 
capable of carrying a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, laser-guided bombs, conventional bombs, and rocket pods. A standard 30mm internal cannon could have provided close-range firepower. Most of the armaments were expected to be the French origin or domestically produced under French guidance. Despite promising design and technical progress, the Nord VRVON project was cancelled in 1991, just one year before the aircraft was selected for its maiden flight. The dissolution of Yugoslavia due to political upheaval and internal conflict abruptly ended the program. The country splintered into several independent states, including Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Serbia, Montenegro, Slovenia, and Macedonia. The resulting wars and economic instability made continuing the Novi Avion project impossible. At the time of its cancellation, the Novi Avion was in an advanced design phase, and much of the groundwork for the aircraft's production had already been laid. However, Without a unified Yugoslavia to support and fund the project, the dream of a domestically produced fourth-generation fighter was lost. Although the Novi Avion never saw combat or full production, it left a significant legacy in military aviation history. The program represented a bold attempt by a small nation to develop a world-class fighter jet independently. It showcased Yugoslavia's engineering and technical capabilities and its determination to modernize its military forces. In terms of design and technological innovation, the Novi Avion was ahead of its time. It used of composite materials, advanced avionics and integrated Manteron systems placed it on par with its fourth-generation counterparts such as the Dazzle Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon. Had it been completed, the Novi Avion may have offered Yugoslavia a significant military advantage in the 1990s, especially in the Balkan conflicts that followed the country's breakup. Today, the Novi Avion serves as a symbol of what might have been. Its cancellation highlights the impact of political instability on technological progress and military readiness. Many of the lessons learned during the Novi Avion's development was likely carried forward by engineers and technicians who work on the program, influencing future aircraft designs in the region. While the Novi Avion never became a reality, it remains a poignant example of Yugoslavia's ambitions and capabilities during the Cold War. <laughs>